In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved in Christ, I'm Father Emmanuel Awea, and I'd like to share with you a touch of God's love, thus a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Saturday, 20th of May, 2023. The readings are taken from Acts 18, 23 to 28. Psalm 46, 2 to 3, 8 to 10, and John 16, 23 to 28. The theme of the reflection is how to get your needs. How to get your needs. In the gospel, Jesus said to his disciples, and I quote, I tell you most solemnly, anything you ask for, from the Father, he will grant in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive. And so, your joy will be complete. I have been telling you all this in metaphors. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in metaphors, but tell you about the Father in plain words." Unquote. Maybe you have prayed for something and have not received it. So you are wondering if it is really true that anything we pray for in His name we shall receive. You may even be tempted not to trust in prayer anymore. Where lies the problem? The problem may be that we have not fully understood Jesus because he spoke in metaphors, that is, in symbolic language. He says, anything you ask in my name, what is the meaning of in my name? In the name of Jesus means according to the will of Jesus, which is also the will of the Father and the Holy Spirit. That could be why he said to them, you have not yet asked anything in my name. Perhaps they have been, they have been asking, they have been asking the Father for things, but not according to his will. That could be why Jesus taught us the Our Father which is centered on the will of the Father. How to ask according to the will of the Father. They could not ask according to His will because they were living in fear, doubt, pride, and in other sins. That is why when He was arrested, they all disappeared and Peter even betrayed Him. The only time they succeeded in overcoming these sins and prayed and acted according to His will was when they received the Holy Spirit. It implies that without the Holy Spirit, we cannot pray and act in the name of Jesus. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot pray and act in the name of Jesus, that is, according to His will. Hence, the first reading talks about Apollos, a Jew who knew the Bible a lot and he was very fluent. He could use the Bible to prove to his fellow Jews that Jesus is the Messiah and they could not disprove his arguments. But he only received the baptism of repentance and not the baptism in the Holy Spirit. So Prisla and Aquila tried to teach him about the way. That is, they tried to tell him that he needed also the baptism in the Holy Spirit to enable him pray and act in the name of Jesus. That is, according to his will. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray and act with holy hearts and if it is God, God's will to act miraculously. Dearly beloved, 
as we pray the Pentecost Novena, be baptized in the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, receive your knees, even as we pray constantly. Come, Holy Spirit. 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 Amen. Can you share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing or discussing this message with others? The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you as a Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.